we go it was taking it a bit for it to come up so how's everybody doing today so uh just listening unless i have to say something because i'm studying oh hmm. i don't know if i'm the right person to study to but yeah go for it <laughs> so how you guys doing today uh i'm doing better uh i was feeling a little bit sick yesterday so i kind of i took the night off and um make sure you can hear me and uh billy was just being billy and um but it's all right uh, we will make it up, I think. I might, I don't, I don't know, I might do something Sunday. It just depends, uh, because I know there's, you know, Sunday is Halloween, and it just depends. I gotta make sure, uh, my wife doesn't have anything planned. If she doesn't, we might do something. Might do another scary game. It just, just depends. Uh, but today we're gonna be going over, uh, Shandy for Christ some more. Uh, I didn't get to finish the other one last time, <clears throat> and I got a bit of time today, but I do have two videos that I have to finish up editing. Um, they're both almost done. I just got to finish. And uh, also, by the way, uh, Anna, um, our our guest on, our co-host guest, what the fuck am I talking about? Our co-host on over on TGR on Less Refuse on Sundays, she's going to be uh, uploading a video here pretty soon. If you guys remember the crazy um, guy that danced around, uh, let me see if I can actually pull him up because I know Adam E gave it to me. Um, give me one second. Should have had this up. 
Bob Hickman. That was the guy's name. Bob Hickman. Um, if you remember that guy, what's oh, oh god, ever? Here, I'll give you a bit of you know, who this guy is, real quick. Um, yeah, I did get your time steps, then. Um, trigger warning, because you're about to see butt. <laughs> Of a crazy guy that does this a lot. Does this a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, he wrote a book. He wrote a book. Um, hold on, my wife. He wrote a book, very short, sh short little book. I think uh, on the last private show we went over a bunch of his videos, and uh, and uh, they said that's like, hey, if someone cash apps me fifteen buck bucks, you know, I'll get this book. Someone ended up did uh, cash apping or bid more, uh, bid bid mowing them, and then um. And they got the book, they read it, they did a review, so that should be up on TGR pretty soon. <laughs> should be uh, up before our live tonight. So, that will be a thing. She's going to review the book, or they're going to review the book, and yeah, it's going to be, a, oh. They, they, they sent in like a little bit of a paragraph of what that book is and it's just crazy self-published no punctuation just yeah just a crazy 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 bunch of shit so um that's how i imagine few of you will look after a weight loss <laughs> um yeah so what we're gonna do actually my wife just texted me and i need to go do something <laughs> i remember it, it's kind of funny because black guy tv says that um I mean, what we talked about on the uh, 200th episode. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going, I'm going to, to play my little playlist a little bit. I got to go make something real, real, real quick. Shouldn't take me about five minutes tops, but at least you guys get some good music. Um, so let me get my playlist real quick so I can go do that because that is something that actually needs to be done. Um, let me see. Where, where should we start? Where should we start? You know what? We'll do some metal this time. So I do apologize. Please stick with me. I'm going to be right back. And it's, again, it should take me about five minutes. Okay, apparently she she got it. Um, so, and by the way, speaking of Miss Pock, Miss Pock is in the chat. Yeah, this. Uh, if you guys want to know who that is, that is. I haven't played him in a while, but that is uh, Aiden. Um, Aiden music. I enjoy the fuck out of him. So, but yeah. Uh, speaking of Miss Parker Incorporated, me and Brand was actually uh, talking. And what we're going to uh, do is go the same route as Miss Parker. Now, <laughs> and it's not just going to be my show. 
it is going to be TGR. So there's going to be some actual changes to TGR and to the Patreon name and stuff like that. We are going to kind of change it up to the Geek Room Productions or pretty much TGR Productions. And we are going to become an LSC. We're going to uh, follow all the paperwork that we need to. And so... <clears throat> Um, any super chats, any cash apps that we kind of get, that's what's going to go towards, uh, from this channel and from, uh, TGR. So that is what we're going to be working on here. Hopefully by the end of the year, we can get that done. And, uh, with any help from you guys is greatly appreciated because we are going to be, um, pretty much legitimizing this as a, as a business. So if Miss Parker wrote the book, the title will be... <laughs> Probably about as spelled incorrectly about as my titles because I, I do that a lot. So, if you guys want to help out in any, any way towards that, uh, my cash app is down below, which is dollar sign crude AF. Um, again, that anything from there will be going to um, making this into a LLC, into an LLC and stuff like that. So, pretty much what it's going to be covering is. Uh, the Geek Room, any shows that the Geek Room uh, kind of puts out, um, my channel, Bloody Breakdown, uh, Brand Riffs, and anything that we are going to be um, promoting or also producing from here forth out. So, oh my God, are you going to sign contracts and Steve McCray some? <laughs> um, yeah, but that's that's what we're going to be working on. Hopefully by the end of the year, we can get that done. And um Thanks to Miss Parker for the actually idea, because uh, me and her was actually talking yesterday, so I thought it was actually a good idea. We're going, we're going to do it. I threw it up to Brand. Brand thought it would be a good idea, and so and we 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 are trying to decide if Billy's going to be HR because he's got he's we got to see if he has any kind of human relationships. You know, just kidding. <laughs> So the, again, uh, any cash apps that you guys sent in, which is my, my cash app is dollar sign crude AF. I will be promoting that over to geek room just for the LLC <clears throat> and also super chats that, um, you guys send in. That's what's going to go towards. So the McRib is back. Frank is touching booties at the workplace. Shh. Don't tell Billy. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, yeah, I'm going to be, um, doing that and then uh also one of, one of my plans is with the llc is actually um producing or uh helping producing more shows so if anybody's got any ideas and they want to kind of throw it out there feel free to contact me at uh through twitter instagram and stuff like that i am free to open any ideas <clears throat> and um we will get stuff kind of started and see what we can do so billy should be charged away for it. <laughs> yeah so, and also, there is going to be another female salt mine. Um, Anna, if you could let me know the, that date. I know you told me, uh, but I totally fought, forgot. So. Classic carrot situation. Shout out to Frank's wearing costume. Spot on. <laughs> Thank you, Wilson. <laughs> you dick. Oh, my God. That was actually kind of funny, though. Um... <laughs> <laughs> all right so without wasting any more time all my shit is down below my patreon my uh, my channel memberships uh everything down below from um twitter to instagram should be there so if you guys want to uh follow me support me whatever yeah, so let's just get into it and oh also yeah oh yeah it did play the new one didn't it hold on i totally forgot there is a new Super Chat, uh, Tuesday the 9th of November. Thank you. Um, so there will be another Ladies Night uh, on the Salt Mine, uh, November 9th. And so, yeah. Can we talk about Billy's Train? Choo-choo, motherfucker. I forgot I put that um, new Super Chat in. So. Hey, Tina, how you doing? Crack Pipe Sundays. <laughs> Gather me. Give me one second. I'm trying to wait for Mrs. Parker's. It's making all the toenails cur curl. You guys are fucked up. You know that? Well, I'm dirty. <laughs> Can we talk about Billy's train? Choo choo. Oh my god. I'm trying to wait for this other stupid. Carrot situation. 
<laughs> that costume is making all the toenails curl. <laughs> uh, if you can't hear what it says, it says flaccid carrot situation. Rev, we know. We've seen the OnlyFans. So. Oh, man. Oh, did it not go to where I need it? I think it was about here. Shit ton of... Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the wrong one. No wonder. Uh, where is that one? That... There we go. I lost my father. My plans of of waiting till my mom dies so I can go back to my my dad and and get reconciliated with my 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 siblings that was stripped away from me. God, I'm already, I, I'm trying to cuz I you know I got some criticism saying I talk too much but Jesus fucking Christ! She way she way she talks. Uh, they're just the stuff that comes out. Um, you don't have to let a parent get in the way of you reconciling with your dad or your siblings. What does your mother have to do with it? Nothing. You were just too lazy, and those people don't want anything to do with you. That was taken away from me. And then I have all these ugly people harassing me. Harassing me because my dad died. Folks, it's too early to forfeit sad violins. Thank you, Cherry. <laughs> Who the fuck is Cherry SMR? Who is this? You should not be giving her hope. <laughs> you should not be giving her any kind of hope. That is wrong. I know I'm a dick and I like to remind that she uh, is a child abusing, neglecting piece of shit. But that is just wrong. Yes, no tears. No tears whatsoever. It needs to stop. Nope. Okay, this hatred thing that's nope. getting into people's personal lives. Oh, I agree with that, but uh, we don't do that. You do. It needs to stop. Nope. You've hurt way too much many people. Ooh. You've gotten into way too many people's business. And, and you inserted yourself in people's lives. You've gone to their houses. I'm not the only one. No, again, I try. I'm trying to do this thing to where I'm not stopping so many times. But Jesus fucking Christ, it's really hard to do do with her. Uh, no, we have not been going to your house. We haven't been going to anybody's house. I do not condone anybody going to anybody's house. Uh, for sheer fact of her house right there, you might catch some kind of weird disease coming out of it. Anyway, um, if you're not careful for use the right hazmat suits, but no, I do not condone that. Because I don't, I wouldn't want it done to me, right? It's fucked up. Uh, but here's the thing. No one has done that. That is lies that you have told to you. I know there's people um, getting into the beauty beauty mess, which I do not uh, like just kind of just it, IRL stuff. I do not agree with, but no one's done that to you. Okay. I'm collecting a whole list of people who ooh, you've done ooh, this to. Ooh. Who, who, so when it's who? time to go to court, because it is going to be a time when we go to court. You got to have money first. They can go and tell their story too. <gasps> and, and they can have the class action lawsuit that we need to stop this permanently. Hey, Sassy. Because if, if you can't stop harassing people and treating people badly when, when they ask you, please stop. I won't bother you if you bother me. And you just continue on with the railing accusations, the harassment, the reviewing every video they have, and then just being so negative to everything they do and say. All right. I let her play long enough. Um, one. Who put out the contract on like a bunch of people and then went back on that contract? Because... We, there was at a point where we kind of stopped covering you for a bit. 
and um, I put out a video that legit had nothing to do with you, and guess who showed up? Right in the comment section. Now, if I was that person, if I if I was being really harassed by somebody saying like someone putting out my personal information, going IRL, uh, making accusations and stuff like that, um, and I was working on some kind of legal thing, I would shut the fuck up about them. I wouldn't contact them. I wouldn't uh, talk about them because that is what you're supposed to do, right? Right. So. You and Jason have multiple times left comments under some of my videos um, talking shit. So I'm pretty sure that a court will look at that and be like, oh, well, why did you poke them if they are that bad? Right, right. Glad we're on the same fucking page, right? Good. Now, also, <laughs> accusations. They're not accusations. Everything that we have, we have backed up with receipts. You neglected your kids. You let them slip, sleep on pissed, stained, and soaked mattresses. Those sheets were gray and nasty with mold. You guys even asked the kids, what's that brown stuff on the wall? We have seen your house. It is not an accusation. It's actually something that's factual. You didn't clean your house. You let it get so goddamn dirty. You neglected the kids. So that's not an accusation. You know what is an accusation is, is when the one time you actually said that two of the members of the geek room were on a sex offenders uh, list without any proof. We're not. So that is an accusation. That's a false accusation also. Hey, Joda. Hi, hi, bro. That's all I hear. And I made that noise with my mouth, by the way. <laughs> Let's speed this up a bit. Jesus Christ, I don't want to sit here and listen to you snorting. <laughs> Please read The Prince by Matt. If I want to hear you snorting, I'll go Chantal. Ooh, damn. Machiavelli? When you say Machiavelli, you mean Pac? Thank you, Cherry. I would, I would like that. They think this stuff is funny, too. They think no it's way. funny to, like, damage someone who's sick, who's hurting, who's gone through way too much. They think it's funny. And it's, it's disgusting that they find it funny. Because they're way worse than I ever was. All you have is like brief moments of me losing my self-control and becoming angry and raging. While you guys spend every day 24-7 obsessing with people who don't want you in their lives. Oh, too fucking bad. Because when you are on the internet like you are and you do fucked up shit, people are going to call you out. So, <clears throat> and again, it's just not just little... Uh, instances where you rage out, you legit beat the fuck out of Rev. <laughs> and then, and then, you try to, um, which one was it? Was it that one? It was the one where you tried to blame it on Life of a Free Spirit, uh, sending a hate mob after you because you said the N word? Or was it the second time? Folks in the chat, please let me, uh, know. Uh, but one of the times where you guys got caught in, in a, trouble with the law you try to blame it on life of a free spirit sending a hate mob after you for saying racial slurs hmm. you know there's got to be a time in your life there's got to be a time in your life where you stop that and you think in your head what am i doing i'm wasting my life obsessing about this woman who doesn't want to hurt anyone Ooh. For, oh, it was the first time. Thank you, Sydney. I'm hey, sorry Bob, about that, that was legit heard. Miss Parker, do you have that video? I'm going to send you that video. My condolences, sweetheart. 
Uh, it's not oh. about ego with me healing of my family. It's literally their ego, not mine. I'm perfectly willing to reconcile. It's them. Their family. It's Lee Hart. It's not about ego with me healing of my family. It's literally their ego, not mine. I'm perfectly willing to reconcile. It's them. Their hearts are darkened. Not mine. I've tried my whole life to reconcile with these people and get them to love me and accept me for who I am. My whole life. But here's the thing. I was never good enough for them. So it's like I'm at this point in my life where I just want to be accepted for me. Not, 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 you know, anything else but accepted for me and who I am. Because I'm too tired to fight people anymore. No, you're just too fat. Oh, shit. Anyway, um... Do you think there's a reason why your family doesn't want to reconcile? I mean, your brother came out as a as a as a gay man and you bashed him for it. I'm too tired for it. You know. Oh, I can't stand that. I'm too Snowden. tired to do anything. People keep saying get a job. It's like do you realize how sick I am? No one in their right mind would hire me. No one in their right mind would hire a woman who can barely walk, who's in horrible pain, and needs to be on disability. I said a lot that I want to kind of say on this in the video that's going to be coming out later today. Um, <laughs> but, uh... If you can't stand... Walmart will have you sit down as a store greeter. I'm just saying. I've seen it bunches of times. They may even let you ride the scooter. <laughs> Ew, blow your <sighs> fucking nose. Everything I say I am, I was diagnosed with. Thank you very much. Condescending. Ugh. Ooh, ooh, can you show the diagnosis for MS? Can you show the diagnosis for cancer? Um, shout out. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, true. Uh, you know what, Bella Boo, that, that, that is true. So, uh, no one would hire her once they saw her online presence. Yeah. Especially that article was made, that was written out about her. Yeah. So, turn away for this, um, because I want to hear flaccid carrot situation <laughs> shout out to shani's pizza the hut costume okay i'm gonna get a shout out to underhaven right now for actually catching that and sending that to me that is fucking hilarious it's never gonna get old uh but anyway uh one more p test don't Ooh. Hmm. uh can't cashier sit also i have not seen a cashier sit to be honest with you um but I guarantee if they said, you know, she can use that scooter, she would be, uh, she'd be like, yes, let me, I want to work at Walmart. And it breaks down in like five minutes. It's I'm gross. Just and do I need assistance with buying a wheelchair? Oh my God. Okay. I'm not sure I'm there yet. I mean, there's time. Really? Now. <clears throat> So, <laughs> oh man, that, you know what, I'm, I'm going to save it because again, it's in the she, she, she's talking a lot about disability and a lot of uh, uh, other stuff and I, you know, during making the video that I'm going to put out later, um, I look up what qualifies well, can, if, if a hip surgery can qualify you for disability, which it can, but there's also uh, a lot of um, guidelines, or not guidelines, but there's there's, there's got to be specifics involved for you to be able to get disability. And then, again, uh, once I put this out, anybody in PA that knows well, probably a whole lot more than I do, please correct me on that whole thing, because I, I looked up looked it up, but I generally got kind of the same message. Um, but... Yeah, just yeah. I'm just, I'm just going. I'm just going to wait. For though, where I like the store is so hard now. Even going to the store, like I, I only go to the store like once every three weeks because that's all I can fucking handle, right? And the whole time in the store, I'm like leaning over the cart, barely holding on. <laughs> you know, I'm just using the cart for basic support, and it's like I, I, I look at the little wheelie chair things that you can ride around, and I'm like, I probably should use those, but it's like I have this pride thing 
where I just feel like I'd be too embarrassed riding around in those things, but it's like... Fuck it. Just do what Emerlin Reed does and just record yourself. Please record yourself using the, the scooter. <laughs> uh, I, it's so uh, there's so many circumstances to get approved off the bat. Took me four years. Oh, wow. So, mm. yep. Uh, that's something else I kind of astound upon in that too. So there, there, there is a lot of things that um, she thinks she's going to get disability really quick. It is not going to happen. Because from what I found, what what I found out is um, it's going to take a year because they're going to start. They're not going to, unless it's really fucking serious, they're not going to start with the um, hip replacement right away. They're going to try to treat it with medications, shots, and other stuff. And that may take a year. So It's so hard when your whole body... Is losing its functioning, and you're forced to slow down, and you're for- forced to accept defeat. Like you can't do things like you used to. Oh. I don't focus on the drama, Kimmy. I have the Kim- I have the drama come to me. I don't mean that in the read, but I think it would be helpful for you, Shannon. You are incredibly strong, True, so please Jane. don't think I'm saying you aren't. Thank you, Cherry. Hold on, wait. Who the fuck is Cherry? <laughs> Who the fuck is Cherry in the chat? <sighs> Unless that isn't actually a, a really good person. I can give you a name of the company I work for from home. They pay good money. Yeah, that would be cool. Ugh. Now remember, Shannon. Whatever income you get in kind of goes against your disability. Ew! <laughs> Have you not noticed how baggy my clothes are lately? They're not bad. How about you stop self-diagnosing me? You want to go and say that I self-diagnose myself? But it's you guys that are self-diagnosing me. I tell you what's wrong with me, and then you say, no, it's not this, it's this. Shut the fuck up. If you want to know what she's talking about, Uncle, uh, the, it's actually just right above me. Honey, you need to lose some weight so there is not so much strain on your bones and joints. That is not self di That's not diagnosing anyone. That's saying, is, hey, you're fat. Lose some weight. That'll help your bones and joints. I'm being a little blunt, but. <laughs> well, what are you using? Um, okay. Anyway, but. Legit. They're just saying, hey, if you lose some weight, that's going to be a whole lot better for your joints. It's going to be better for your hips. It's going to be better for your knees and your ankles because all of that is load-bearing joints there. They had to cover. I mean, they had not cover. They had to um, hold up all of this. And we've seen you walk. There's a lot of that. So if you lose some weight, it will probably help your joints a little bit. As soon as someone set mentions that, she got defensive really fucking quick because you know she doesn't want to fucking lose that weight because it's not going to help her case for trying to get disability because she wants to be this run down person so she can get money so easily. So, <laughs> it's, um... That wasn't even like diagnosing. They're just saying, hey, lose some weight. So. You don't know me or my life or what I go through. I'm telling you what I go through. And your only answer is, it's not like that. <laughs> fuck you. No, fuck you. <sighs> yeah, you can message me on Instagram. Oops, somebody got yeeted. <sighs> Ew. Thank you, Kimmy. I'm just, I just, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not like I used to be, and I'm sorry. I'm, I'm depressed a lot of the time, and I'm sad a lot of the time. And I try to distract myself from the pain, from feeling it, because it's very hard for me to come down when I start feeling pain. <sighs> That's my Instagram. Sorry, I had to do it. I hope everything goes well for you. Yeah. 
I don't think it's going to, but... <laughs> I have a lot of fear. And insecurities. Yeah, thank you, Kimmy. It's, 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 it's a lot. It's a lot to just constantly be in this, like, I have to defend myself mode. Especially well, when you're feeling really crummy and it's like, I can't do this anymore. I can't defend myself anymore from from people assuming I'm guilty of something I'm not. It's like, I don't, I don't need, I shouldn't have to defend myself over lies. <laughs> I shouldn't have to defend myself over constant lies. You know? Okay, I'm a dick for that one. Anyway, um, again, if you stop telling lies and you stop being a shitty person, you wouldn't have nothing to try to defend. Whoops. Ugh. Shut up. I can vent if I fucking want to. You take everyone struggling, you're like, oh, poor me. You know, when you need a vent, I bet you find an avenue to vent, and you don't, and you wouldn't want someone being a piece of shit asshole like you're doing right now. Ooh, I play zombie games. Did I check my DMs? On... Uh, I, I checked my DMs on Discord. Don't know if anybody else said anything else. Let me know where. Guarantee it, dude. Dick it. You'd want someone there for you to understand you, to edify you, to make yourself feel better. Ooh, you know who I have that if I'm having a down day? My wife. My wife... If I'm having a down day, she, you know, tries to make me feel better. And I do the same for her. So, um, I don't go to the internet. <laughs> I don't go to the internet and sit there and cry and say, I got nobody. Well, I, well you got someone right beside you who is you supposedly love and is supposed to be your husband. And you say you have nobody. And look at, look at you calling me an attention seeker. I didn't seek out your attention. You seeked out my attention. I'm just going on my channel and doing what every person does on their channel when they feel like it, and that's venting. Attention seeking. I didn't ask for 69 people to come here. I didn't. They came here willingly. Oh, you knew that everybody was going to come here. So, because you're a train wreck and everybody likes a train wreck. So, um, yeah. 71 now. They came here willingly. I didn't force them. So don't be saying attention seeker to me, sir. You seek my attention. Remember that. You're a attention seeker. Sue me. <sighs> You're right, hindsight. <sighs> Thank you. That wart is staring at me. Every damn human makes me. mistakes. I know, right? But it's like, I have to pay for my mistakes for the rest of my fucking life, apparently, according to these people. Oh, yes, you do. Because you, oh, the shit you've done to your children, mm -mm -mm. never gonna let you down. Never gonna let it down. You're gonna keep, yeah. Ugh. Seeking affirmation in the chat. I deserve hatred for believe. Oh, wait, wait. L let me just see this. I deserve hatred mm -hmm. for I. It's not true. This isn't true. But I deserve hatred for not believing that the for believing the moon is fake. I deserve hatred for that. Wait, what was said? Who said what? Hold on, I'm trying to figure out. Was it Aries that said it? Um, we are leaving YouTube forever, Shane for Christ and Revelation News. Yes, they did say that on October 7th, and that got yeeted. Who the fuck said that shit? Like, did she just randomly pull that out of her ass yet? Is there GoFundMe set up? Yep, nope. I deserve hatred for believe- oh, Wait, wait, L let me just see this. I deserve hatred- for I, it's not true. This isn't true. But I deserve hatred for not believing that the for believing the moon is fake. I no no. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
no, you do deserve, you deserve to be laughed at because that was fucking ridiculous. You thought the moon was a hologram. That shit, that is funny. No. I deserve hatred for that. <laughs> okay, legit. She actually thought that the moon was a hologram. Uh, it was, uh, I think it, it got, I think it actually reached Tosh.0. I wish I could find that episode of Tosh.0. I'll catch a copyright claim for that. Um, but, but she thought the moon was a hologram. I kid you not, folks. Oh, that was you, Vila. I couldn't even see you in the chat. She's drinking Coke, folks. You think... Why do people... Like, seriously, what is wrong with your mind? Your, your mind? Where you think someone needs relentless hate over things that don't even involve you, over ideas and thoughts. <laughs> what is wrong with your head? You, you see someone who has a different thought and a different opinion, and you think you should apply hatred onto them? You're close-minded. <laughs> One, I wanted to read what Billy said. Billy said, if you came onto the internet crying, he, I'd mock you too. Thank you, Billy. Love you. Anyway, um, there's a difference between being open-minded to what some people say and, and, and stuff like that. Then there is what you said. The moon is real. We've been on the moon. We have pictures of the moon. Your dumbass said the moon was a hologram. I don't think I need to be accepting to idiocy like that, right? I'm sorry, but if you come on, like, I don't care. It could be Billy. Billy could be like, dude, I believe the moon is a hologram. I'm going to laugh at him, but like, dude, you're a fucking idiot. Love you, but I'll, dude, you're a fucking idiot. And you're egocentric <laughs> and you're culty. And, and communist and thinking. That escalated. <laughs> that escalated so quick. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, there's no oxygen in the water, folks. Thank you, Miss Parker. We, we, we got we to gotta push that. Uh, YouTube, that was a joke. Okay, I know you guys are cracking down on stupid shit like this, but that was a joke. Anyway. <laughs> that just, all right. Nazi in thinking. Why did it always go... I, I'm stopping too much. I'm sorry. Why does it always go to Nazi thinking with you guys? It's, that's the thing that you always like to fucking say. You know, you're definitely not an intellectual. Because an intellectual would take this the person's different thoughts and, and different opinions and different ideas and look at it a completely open way and ask questions regarding it. You know, a long time ago, I, made, I, 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 I was questioned over uh, the hologram moon theory. It's an actual theory. For years, I have been harassed and hated on over this because TJ, the amazing atheist, put a hate campaign on me over that, and they haven't stopped since. Cry me a river? <laughs> because you said the hol the moon was a hologram, you believed it. TJ made fun of you for it, and so did other other people. Now they talk about how shitty of a parent you are and how much of a racist, but it uh, yeah, cry me a fucking river. They haven't stopped since of me just discussing the hologram moon theory. Because you're an idiot. Please, please, why should I deserve such hatred over a different thought, over a theory? Because it's a stupid thought. But to you, is it, is it your retribution to how Christians hate atheists over evolution? Because I don't hate atheists who believe in evolution. I don't hate Christians who believe in evolution. I don't hate anyone who believes in evolution. Because I, I, I can see evolution in the Bible in, in some aspects. In, in a pers if you take it into a certain perspective, I can see it. You know, all, all life was created, first life was created in the water. And there were big giant beasts and stuff like that. So I see it. I see it. Am I, am I going to hate people over that? No. But should you go and, and, and take everyone who thinks differently and hate on them? There's a difference between thinking... You know, just seeing like thought, seeing evolution throughout the year, uh, the, 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 the stupid, it hurts. It really does. 
Okay, so again, there's a difference between evolution and a hologram moon. There's a difference between believing in evolution and believing in a hologram moon. There's a fucking difference. One, we can see. One, is just a complete crackpot conspiracy fucking theory. There. Jesus fucking Christ. You don't understand. It's been years. Why are you putting hate campaigns on me anyway? Yeah, but, discussing and believing are different, you fucking demon. First of all, the intelligent person, <laughs> the person who thinks correctly, Lola. would wonder to oneself, you guys are putting in a lot of work to try to get me down and try to hate me. That means something. It means you guys are the liars. Because you're constantly doing the Joseph Goebel routine of making a lie, making it big, and repeating it over and 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 over again. And over. That's what you do. You do Nazi freaking tactics. And then, and then the simple-minded, the stupid people, they believe you until eventually they're like, wait, why am I doing this to this person? But she doesn't attack people, folks. She just attacked all of you guys over here, if I could point correctly. That's right, all of you. She just attacked all of you, saying you guys are gullible. Again, I don't get online and tell people what to think. I show the receipt. I say this is what, I th this is what I'm thinking, and you guys can come up with whatever you want. Um, I don't say, hey, uh, guess who? You got to believe that she's a racist. Uh, yeah, Cecil Cece McFly does have that clip in. Thank you. Thank you, guess who? Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I, Ali Miss, you, you, you got to believe she's a racist. You got to believe she's a racist too, Miss Parker. Um, yeah, the, the Nazi comparison is just fucking weird. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Miss Parker, we got. I guess we got to add that onto our list that we were talking about yesterday. Exactly, Kimmy. Whatever happened to agreeing to disagree? You know, you guys are the reason why there's no civility in the world anymore. You don't allow civility to happen. You think if someone makes a mistake, you cancel them and you remind them of that mistake for the rest of their lives and say they're a terrible person, even though they learn from it. You're the reason why. Like we need. Never mind. Even though they got back up from it, even though they grown from it. You didn't. The only way you grew, you grew out. You didn't grow from any fucking thing. You haven't learned a goddamn thing because Rev was legit talking about how the kids smell like gorgonzola cheese and dog shit. So that means you guys are not taking care of the kids enough for them to be have proper hygiene. He legit smacked his hand on the table, wiped it, smelled it, and said it constantly smells like shit in this place. I can say it verbatim. Because I have watched it that many fucking times. <laughs> there were mounds of fucking... Di like, what was it? Uh, Diet Coke. In your background. It legit started as one. Then it went to three. Then somehow it jumped to nine. So you guys haven't learned. Thank you. You know? For Here's my TED Talk. <laughs> I'm in a rare yeah, mood today. that's what I do. I'm having fun. Uh, what'd you miss? Uh, Shani uh, deflecting a bunch of lies, saying that we are harassing her, um, and all that shit. Yeah, the same. And that's <laughs> and what I G-Man sounds trashed. <laughs> G-Man, don't give him that, Alice. You fucking idiot. Sell it. I do. I move on from my mistakes. I don't need to linger on things that happened years ago, months ago. I move on and grow from it. And and I usually ignore the constant reminder that you did this mistake. You did this mistake. You did this mistake. Like. God, you, you know what? You can ignore it, but I'm going to be that constant reminder. Anytime I see that you're in, in, in somewhere and you're trying to get a new community to uh, believe me, I'm going to be there to be like, hey, you neglected your children. Fuck you. I don't like I'm so much better than you people so much better than you people because I don't want to constantly remind you of your mistakes in life because you know what I'm not putting that much energy into a person. I'm not gonna put that much hatred into a person. I don't want to make the same mistakes as you. Please you know, blow your not. damn. Yeah, thank you, Sassy. You know, you, you make fun of people who are different. You make fun of people who... No, I make fun of shitty people. 
That's who I make fun of. I make fun of people who are really shitty. Who have different ideas. <coughs> and you start hate campaigns on them when they don't bother you. Like, all you people who want to hate on me, I've never done anything to you guys. Do you really want to go down that route? Think I got a clip where you laughed at our friend who passed away? Think I got a bunch of receipts where you said that we were on uh, the sex offender registry? Mm -hmm. Do you really want to go down that route? We can go down that route if you want to, Shani. Right now, 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 right now. <laughs> Thank you, Baptizing Fire. <laughs> Baptizing Fire reminded, uh, or did a, uh, said like he was a member for five months, says, since this is free, I'm going to be a grandpa. Oh, are you? Congratulations. I read that, like, it, for some reason it didn't click until just now, but congratulations, Baptizing Fire. So, but when I'm not going to do anything to you guys, because I don't, I don't believe in hurting people. I think when you hurt someone, you, you face serious consequences, you know? And I don't want to face those consequences of hurting people. I don't want it on my... I don't even, like, hurting people? I don't even want that on my conscience of hurting another individual. You know, it takes... It, it takes... Really? Here's something for your conscience. <clears throat> the day that you laughed at, my, uh, at our friend who passed away, he has two daughters. He also had a girlfriend at the time grieving. He also has a sister and a mother that was still alive. But you laughed. I hope you do watch this and I hope you hear that because I want that on your conscience. It's a lot of strength to hold your tongue back and not lash out to people who are relentlessly lashing out at you. Oh, stop it with your stupid propaganda. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Such a liar. You see how quick those fucking tears leave? Like, just... Mm, done. Flaccid carrot situation. Shani, blow your nose, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Black Guy TV. Ah, uh, man. <sighs> she can't afford to clean that, sis. Such a liar. That's a propagandist, okay? That's what you people have to watch out for. When you have people who are constantly like, hey, you know what this person did? You know what this person did? You know they're a hate propagandist. You know their purpose is to get you to hate this individual so you can stumble and fail as a believer in Christ. So you can stumble and fail and hate on another individual when you should be loving everyone, regardless of their mistakes, regardless of what they've done in their life. Ooh, I am... Mm -mm, mm -mm. Someone who abused childrens? Mm -mm, mm -mm, nope. That does not apply to you, ma'am. You know. Sympathy sauce. <laughs> who the fuck said that shit? Ew. Hey, James, what's up? Old bat, how you doing? Ew. If You've I, done this to so many people. If I wasn't blocked on her channel, I'd be telling her to blow her damn nose. Well, now hurting others you've done it to so many people now Ooh. that i'm talking to them i'm talking to them and they're letting me know what you do to them too who are you talking to nobody and there's gonna be lawsuits and thank you for subscribing you love that fucking little gift i'm gonna keep that all year round i'm not gift, but the little alert it's fucking badass because see you guys didn't stop when you were asked to stop you just continued mm -hmm. to do this and to act like this toward people does, does. to be mean-spirited to people to accuse people of things that aren't true Ooh, they're true. Yeah, I see that. I know. You're playing good cop, bad cop in my chat, so I just blocked you and the other person because I, I know that game. Yes, the latest. <sighs> don't lecture me on something I don't do. Wonder what was that? Don't lecture me on it. Don't don't lecture me on that when these individuals do that every day on these people's streams. 
What okay. do I do? I had, I had to go and block the letter N, the letter I, oh. the letter G, and so on and so on. <laughs> because these people would spam that in my chat while telling me how horrible I am for ever using it. When Oh, did you make a go away all back? Congratulations. Awesome. I am actually um about 40 away from my go weight, but that is fucking awesome. Can we get some uh not hearts, but can we get the what is it? The um flex emoji for old bat in the chat. So same same old shit with her. I'm going to sue you. Yeah, and I got this cream on my back. <laughs> not to steal your thunder, but I made my goal weight. Oh, and Shani needs to braid her back hair. I don't know who that is, Alex. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if we can, let's get some, um, let's get like the flexing emoji in, in, in the chat for a little bit. But um, yeah, it's not us doing it. Yeah it, have, yeah, it happens to my streams like a lot. So, you know, like people had to kind of go in and yeet us to lead us. So, um, but yeah, no, like Shani, you're just as bad as those people that do that. So. Oh, shit. There we go. 115 pounds lost. That is fucking awesome. That is awesome. When they used it every day to harass people. They were doing that to Trisha Licious last night. Is spamming her chat with the N-word. So why don't you why don't you go point your fingers at the people who are actually using the word than the people who are not using the word because they don't want to hurt anyone. Rev used the word not too long ago against uh, Mo uh, Monty from Hannibal and Monty Show. And you were right there, right beside him. That wasn't even like, that was like two months ago, wasn't it? I actually have it. It's on my channel. So. Idiot. Yes, you are. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about Chantel's drama. Her personal life is her personal life, and none of you guys should get in the middle of it. It's none of your fucking business what's going on in her personal life. How about that? It's not Chantel's drama. It's Chantel's life. And you're making a joke out of it because you're pieces of shit. Uh, no. She's making a joke out of her own life. Just kind of like you. So. Um. Yeah. Yep, she used the word multiple times. I just sent um, Miss Parker that Life of a Free Spirit video, the one where it's like, oof. Uh, if anybody else wants to, let me know. <laughs> so I was like, blow your fucking nose. No, it doesn't have any problem with single letters being blocked. I still see N's and I's and G's in my chat right now. Yeah, I just don't see someone spamming me like an idiot while pointing their fucking fingers at me when I don't even use the word. But you have. <sighs> you have. Yeah, you never I'm afraid of Sh for Chantel too. I'm afraid that one day these these trolls are going to push people to their own limit. Where, they, where they're like, enough, I can't live anymore. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid for Chantel that she's being stalked by these people too and harassed by these people too and have authorities called on her too. Yeah, I'm afraid of her over that. So you're not afraid of the abusive boyfriend that... You know what? Yo, what's up, Kamal? Um, yeah, I don't even know what to say about that. You're a fucking idiot. You know, it's, I don't want to talk about Chantal. Why are you bringing her up in my chat? Her because, life is not my business. I watch her because I like her. Because... You have been really outspoken against it at one time and then also outspoken for it at one time. So you try to make it her businesses uh, at that time. So, But I'm not going to talk about her behind her back like that. Fuck that shit. She don't deserve that. She's going through enough right now. Do you guys care that Chantel is going through a lot and she's confused and she doesn't know what to think? Do you think about that? That she There's a difference between being... Uh, never mind. Never mind, never mind. I told you I'm not getting into that shit. 
needs to seriously. I know she. I know that Beauty Beauty uh, went live last night and you just deleted the fucking uh, stream. I asked. I was like, "Is there anything interesting happening?" And they were like, "No, nah, same old, same old." And I was like, "You know what?" Mm think things out but yet you want to just constantly push your own fucking opinions on her leave her alone she doesn't deserve it you know oh yeah you're lost, i don't like you so there's that I, I want people who care for me in my chat that are genuine people i want people who enable me <sighs> and i'm making that with my mouth by the way uh, <laughs> I want people to not say, not hold me accountable for the things that I have done and I have said. That's what I heard. Not, not fakes or phonies, not people who are trying to get my goat, not people who are trying to be condescending, not people who are being passive aggressive. I will kick you out fast for acting that way. Not doing the bad cop, good cop thing, because I've seen that way too many times. I'm not going to take that shit. If you don't like... To be blocked on someone's channel, Yo, maybe you shouldn't have harassed them so long. So if you gross. don't like being blocked on someone's channel, maybe you shouldn't be <laughs> saying condescending things to them. But see, that's why I can't be a. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I I have tried when I first started this channel. She didn't realize it was me. I tried to be nice. I really did. I I was successful for about two days. I really was. It, we, me and her even got on the subject about oatmeal cream pies. <laughs> but I, that's why I can't be a troll because I end up like, because if she infuriates me so much, too much to the point where I want to be a condescending dick in, in the chat and stuff like that. And I want to call her out on the bullshit. And that's why I'm not a troll. But YouTube, I've read the terms of service several times. YouTube recommends to block individuals like you. So I'm going to do what YouTube recommends and block individuals. Individuals. I've never understood hating someone so much that these people devote their entire internet time obsessing over them rather than just not giving them any attention. Exactly, Kim. You see that? You see all these stuff that they are doing? Like, I, I, I deal with this every single time I'm not online. Usually I'm ignoring it. But I'm just, I'm so Stop fucking tired of this shit. I'm so tired that I can't breathe. I can't person. say anything without having authorities on my ass. Like, I can't express myself. I have to be quiet all the time, and I have to run through fucking hoops for people. Fuck that shit. You ain't running. Shit. I'm too fucking sick. I can't run hoops around people anymore. You okay? Can't I run. can't even work. I can't physically do it. Sorry. I can't even open a fucking can. How does that... Oh, never mind. It's Shandy like, logic. G-Man has these plans it. of taking me to freaking New York City, and I'm looking in, like, horror because it's, like... You're looking in, like, horror? What? G-Man has these plans of taking me to freaking New York City, and I'm looking in, like, horror because it's... <laughs> she is looking in, like, horror. That... That doesn't even make sense. You're a fucking whore! Yeah, there you go. It's like... I can't move. I can't move fast enough, quick enough. I can't. I, I can't move. Oh, get your mad. You can. I, I couldn't handle New York City, like physically. Listen, what are we going? <laughs> I'm sorry. I keep stopping. What are we going to do? Um, we're going to uh, make a poll. Just to, it's going to connect to you and to Rev. Oh, Rev's going to be right in front of you. Rev's just going to say some uh, dickish things to you. Just going to get you mad. That way, you get mad enough. And you get up and you want to beat his ass. Not 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 making fun of DV. I'm just saying <laughs> because he's admitted you move fast when you're mad. So if he can get you mad, then we can get you up and going. There we go. We got a plan, folks. You agree with me? Mm. What? That I can't handle New York City. I wouldn't be able to oh, handle it now. Yeah, how I am physically. No. You would need like a. A wheelchair. Well, no. What I was gonna say is you would need a solid like two months of preparing for it walking first maybe <laughs> if that works i don't know if that works anymore. they're not on the same fucking page here or i'm so bad maybe i don't know that because because the arthritis in my hips i can't i can't move no if you're asking me would you be prepared to go and walk around new york city now? <laughs> hell no. no there's no way no. i don't know if i'm gonna go back to my cooking streams i gotta take care of myself physically i know she said whore but the way she said it, it sounded like whore i just wanted to just kind of pick at it a bit hold on guys i gotta mute this real quick Kind of like how she said Percocets. She was trying to say Percocets yesterday, and I swear to God she said Porcocets. And I was like, eh. So she <laughs> Cattle prod. Ooh, damn. 
Just she moves fast when she kicks her ass. <laughs> yep, there you go. Did she say she was going to run away to New York with G-Man? No, G-Man wants to take her on a trip to New York soon. Yeah, they 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 was not on the same page. That mm -mm -mm. went on the same page. I'm in the closet and I got this cream on my back. Did she just say she's gonna run away to New York with G-Man? Oh, man. Uh, I want to see her go up against the black he Hebrew Israelites. What is this mysterious thing? I don't know. You you want pork sets? <laughs> uh. yeah, she she probably do doesn't do like I can talk. Picking a shedding for saying pork Uh She probably does know uh, Erwin, but um, she's not gonna move. So, <laughs> you know what? I, I, you know what? I know I've said I've said well, horror I'm before. Dirty. You are dirty. How long before she starts talking about getting a mobility scooter? <laughs> I give it her next month. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, but like I, I fuck up words, but I just like to do it with Shani just because it, it's it's more of a thing. So um, yeah. Did they give her opiates? Uh, no. I what they, I mean, I was, no, I don't think Percocets are op opiates, are they? Um, but I know they gave her steroids, which if steroids worked the way that um. Uh, that I know it is it, it, it does work uh, we might get some moody rage streams and poor Rev it does cause diarrhea too and he's still on cleanup duty yeah uh, I live with pain every day I lead a normal life because I want it there you go come on exactly who the hell want her anyway I have no idea I don't think we're going to be, be able to make this <coughs> oh they are okay I didn't know that but yeah so wait Oh, so they are opiates. Okay, so again, I'm not. I, 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 have, I don't. I, I haven't needed to take those, so I wouldn't know. But yeah, they. So I'll get. There's your answer. They gave her opiates. Um. I don't know if anybody's seen her. Let's see if I can find it real quick. I'm using it as a thumbnail too. All right. Woo! Please don't play that video. <laughs> oh, I don't need my shit taken down that quick. Uh, <laughs> I was about to play Life of the Free Spirit video. Oh, okay, what am I checking? <laughs> Miss Parker, you crazy. But um, that was, I, I'm, I think I'm going to leave this here because I, I got two videos I got to edit and I got uh, a little time before um, I have to do some stuff. But um, Lasted carrot situation. <laughs> Don't ask any questions. Check your Discord DM. <coughs> I normally I'm scared when you say that, but that what you sent me was actually really funny. Um, but this this was her community post. She thought this was a good thing with taking a picture with the pouty lips or the kissy face. I have no idea what this is. Um, I'm about to take uh, Percocets. So they are opiates with and. Uh, Oh, okay. See, I didn't know that. And yeah, she's definitely going to get liver damage. I think she took all the G-Man's pain pills and went through her <laughs> uh, Yeah. Moly, 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 moly. Mole! Sorry. Yeah, I got... Well, I got... Um, with my new schedule, I try to go live for an hour and then work on videos at, for the next hour before I have to go do more adult things, so... She'll look like a fiend. Oh yeah, that this uh, this is going to be it's going to be in my thumbnail for the video I'm about to uh, play uh, or about to finish um, making. So we all know you don't at just <laughs> anyway, folks. I want to thank you guys for coming in today. You guys have been awesome. Um, again, uh, over on TGR, I am uh, we're going to be uploading. Uh, Anna's review of the book from Bob Hickman. 
I haven't. I, I don't even know what it says. So once once we upload it, I am going to um, put it as a premiere so we all can watch it together because it's going to be funny. Uh, and um, I got. Let's see. I'm working on two videos right now. One of them should definitely be out by uh, before TGR's uh, live show tonight for Devil's Lettuce. And the other one, I'll probably just do a straight straight upload. So, I like that you're not obvious. <laughs> I, I think, like, the worst I take is, like, Cedron Migraine. That's about it. So, I think I... Uh, here's the reason why, and before we close out, um, I got in a car crash a, a long time ago, and to the point where I was stopped to turn left to somewhere. Someone was not watching me, and or was not wasn't watching, and slammed in the back of me, going about 45, 50 miles an hour. Uh, it literally propelled me into oncoming traffic. Luckily, people stopped, <clears throat> but the force of it cause the seat to actually break and me to like slam my neck back i was in pain oh my god um fucked up totaled the car totaled her car like just it was it was bad um they took me to the hospital to make sure i didn't have any whiplash or had anything uh wrong with me acid <laughs> carrot situation percocet molly percocet <laughs> thank you black tv uh, but it took me to the hospital to make sure um, nothing was wrong with me. And I got a um, scan and stuff like that. But they gave me, I think it's called Dilaudid. <laughs> I don't remember what the fuck happened that night. Um, apparently, after they get done, this is the reason why I try not to take like heavy drugs. Because I just, I run my mouth. Um, apparently, while I was on Dilaudid. I was going into my irrational fear of coffins <laughs> and, and apparently like going into to the scan coming out. Apparently I thought I was going into a coffin or some shit. My wife was like, I, I have no idea what you're talking about, but you just, you was rambling to the nurse about your irrational fear of coffins and just stuff like that. So <laughs> I was like, this is why I don't take heavy medication. Um, and I think like after that, I was taking like a, um, a mixture of like, I think it's Vicodin or something like that for pain. But yeah, oh boy, it, it was actually, yeah, I'm glad I made it through it too. Um, you got two shots of diluted after, ooh. So yeah, that's why I don't take, <laughs> yeah, I got a low drug tolerance. So, um, but yeah. Oh, really? Okay. So yeah, it's, yeah, I, I got a low drug tolerance. So that's why I don't take drugs like that. So, but there's a little, uh, story for you guys. <laughs> And it was my favorite car, too. It was a Honda Accord. It was one of the best cars I fucking had. Uh, still mad about that shit. Anyway, so, folks, that's going to be it for me today. I'm going to work on these two videos, see if I can get them out pretty quickly. Thank you guys for coming out. Um, so, I think there's... Uh, how many people you here are here? There's 195. I only, or 171. Uh, 161, if I can count. And only 78 likes. If you guys could, hit that like button on the way out. And again, remember, TGR will, will be live tonight at 9 o'clock with Dill's Lettuce. And I am going to be uploading Anna's review of Bob Hickman's book uh, pretty soon, as soon as she uh, edits it and gets it to me. <clears throat> and I got two videos coming out. But thank you guys. If you um, Thank you guys for coming out. You guys have been awesome. I'm still growing. Uh, <laughs> it'd be funny if I pass Geek Room, but, you know, it's just, it's, it's whatever. Uh Make sure you guys subscribe to Over the Gear too. So, but that's going to be it for me today. You guys uh, have a wonderful rest of your week. If I do, uh, I should be on TGR, but if I don't get to speak to you, people who are not subscribed there, you guys have a wonderful day. Um, and